I'm going to talk about to you today is about how your business needs to take a holistic approach to sales. Because if your business doesn't, it turns into a hobby. So, back to the P's. Not four P's, three P's this time. Everything I've learned hinges on this, and this is the same for your business. The product and services you sell, the processes that underpin it, and your people. Now, I'm going to assume everybody's quite happy with what they sell. And if you didn't, most of you wouldn't be here. So my priority is to focus on these three. And I look at the organisation like this. Now, how many people wear lots of different hats in their organisation? They don't have the luxury of having departments. But depending on the time of day, or the email that comes into the inbox, you might swing between all of these. But essentially, sales normally falls to these two guys, traditionally, the sales and marketing team. And the sales are the guys that are the ones saying, yeah, we brought it in, we're growing the business, you should love us, we're awesome. Until technical get hold of the project. <laughs> and they're falling out with each other. One of the biggest things we learn, and if ever you get the chance to do this, is we had war rooms. It sounds very aggressive, you can call it whatever you want. But when we had a project, even before we got the PO, we brought in everybody we thought should be on that project. There was good reason for that because it was always the technical guys that pulled up the gotchas. Yeah, you might have that in your SLA, but what about this, because this frequently happens over here. And I'm like, it's brilliant that you brought that up, because if you hadn't, that would have eaten into our profit. So we actually had a more coherent conversation with the customer, because we knew what we were selling was going to work for them, because we'd done all that due diligence. But we were making sure that when that PO came in, when that money went in the bank, what was assigned as profit stayed as profit. So having a joined up conversation between all of these guys is really useful. But it also involves marketing as well. And really what we should be doing is actually seeing the whole organisation shifting together. Always working together. Because if I'm a customer and I'm on this side and I've just seen technical and sales fall out, what does that mean? If I'm trying to manage a business saying, yeah, my website says I'm the best, but the customer experience is different... What does human nature do? We go and complain, don't we? We're more likely to go and talk about something that's negative. Now, yes, that's marketing. But customers tend to like to complain rather than praise, right? And so it's really essential that we keep internal communications working very well, like Actimel. If you don't keep open flow between all of these people, then you're going to have a left arm, right arm syndrome. And we've seen that with really large organisations, particularly vendors. So an internal newsletter even if it's just in text format, so when everyone's on the fly reading on their smartphones, an internal newsletter works extremely well because it knows what product, they know what projects are coming up, what customers said what, <coughs> it works extremely well. 